Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you selected to create your chart of accounts using one of the business types listed in the new company setup wizard, then you likely have a full chart of accounts which will give you all of the accounts necessary to run a business. However, you may want to add, delete, or rename specific accounts within the default chart of accounts. You will also need to enter opening balances for your accounts as well. This can be done using the Maintain Chart of Accounts window. You can open this window by selecting Maintain and then choosing the Chart of Accounts command from the menu bar. In the Maintain Chart of Accounts window, you add, rename, and delete accounts. You also use it to enter opening balances for accounts and prepare account budgets. Notice the toolbar at the top of the window. It contains buttons that allow you to add, edit, and remove accounts from your company file's chart of accounts. Use the Close, New, Save, and Delete, and Change ID buttons to make modifications to selected accounts. Now below that toolbar, you can use the Account ID dropdown to identify the account by ID. The account ID can be up to 15 characters in length and it contains alphabetic or numeric characters. You can use the Change ID button in the toolbar to change selected account IDs. The description field simply shows a description for the selected account. You can also use the inactive checkbox to make any selected account inactive. Notice all of the accounts that appear when you click the Account ID dropdown. Click on any ID to select it from the list. If you would like to see a listing of all the accounts within your chart of accounts, you can click the List button in the Windows toolbar to open up a separate account list in a new window. You will also see a small window appear at the right side of the Maintain windows that you open within Sage 50, such as this one. This side window is the Setup Advisor panel. This panel shows you information about the purpose and possible uses of whichever field you currently have selected within the Maintain window. You can collapse this panel by clicking the X in its upper right corner. You can click the Collapsed panel to expand it again and show the field information. When you go to create new accounts in the Chart of Accounts, you will need to enter the account ID that you want to assign to the account, enter the description of the account, and then select the account type. So let's look at the information that we must provide Sage 50 in order to add accounts to the Chart of Accounts. Now the first thing that you must provide Sage 50 with is an account number. Sage 50 allows the use of both alphabetic and numeric characters in its account numbers. You should, however, set up an account numbering system that's systematic and coherent. It should be easy for others to use and understand. In a traditional general ledger, individual accounts are numbered and placed into numeric ranges similar to the ones that are shown in a default chart of accounts in Sage 50. So within the 10,000 range, you'll see cash, accounts receivable, and assets. Starting with the 20,000s, you'll see accounts payable and liabilities. The 30,000s are equity accounts. 40,000s are income accounts. 50,000 through 70,000 are cost of sales and expenses. The 80,000s are other income and the 90,000s are other expenses. Sage 50's sample companies use this numbering scheme. Now as you add more accounts, keep in mind a few rules about ID codes that you assign to accounts. First, you can use up to 15 characters. Second, you can modify account IDs after they have been created. Third, you can modify account descriptions at any time. 
Also, spaces between characters are allowed within account IDs. Account numbers are sorted alphabetically. Numbers first, then letters. Account numbers are not case sensitive. And there can only be one retained earnings account in your chart of accounts. Now after you've entered an account ID, you can then type a description of the account into the description field. Note that descriptions can be changed at any time. After that, assign the account to one of Sage 50's account types by using the account type dropdown. The account types are accounts payable, accounts receivable, accumulated depreciation, cash, cost of sales, equity doesn't close, equity gets closed, equity retained earnings, expenses, fixed assets, income, inventory, long-term liabilities, other assets, other current assets, and other current liabilities. Now remember to click the new button each time before you add a new account into the maintain chart of accounts window and also be sure to click the save button after you create each new account to save it into the list. You can also save a step in this process by simply clicking the Save and New button instead to save your current record and create a new record automatically. When you're finished, simply close the window by clicking the Close button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.